The village of Unu was situated in a narrow, grassy valley, crisscrossed by clear streams and overlooked by green hills. It consisted of no more than a few hundred people who lived in huts, which were beehive-shaped structures of mud walls, with a wooden pole in the center holding up a peaked grass roof. I learned to stick fight, essential knowledge to any rural African boy, and became adept at its various techniques, parrying blows, fainting in one direction and striking in another, breaking away from an opponent with quick footwork. From these days I date my love of the felt, of open spaces, the simple beauties of nature, the clean line of the horizon. I was no more than five when I became a herd boy, looking after sheep and cows in the field. It was in the fields that I learned how to knock birds out of the sky with a slingshot to gather wild honey and fruits and edible roots to drink warm, sweet milk straight from the udder of a cow. Nature was our playground. The hills above Kunu were dotted with large smooth rocks which we transformed into our own roller coaster. We sat on flat stones and slid down the face of the large rocks. We did this until our backsides were so sore we could hardly sit down. Can I zap? 